somebody the way I love you. Hey, it's Nate with another piano tutorial. Today I'm doing To Love Somebody by Bee Gees. This song is pretty simple. There's only a handful of chords in it. And at the end, I'll even show you how to do the harp arpeggio if you really want to challenge yourself. Let's jump in. Okay, so first off, I recommend you get the chords and lyrics chart. You can find a link down in the description and that's gonna help you follow along and see where the chords and the lyrics line up with each other. We'll start out with the intro. It's gonna sound like this. Here's the underlying chords and we're just gonna focus on the first two measures at first. That's where we're gonna have the right hand playing that strings melody. We're gonna be playing chords with our left. We've got this A major chord. Here's middle C here. So we're an octave lower here with the A, C sharp and E. Then we also need this G. You can just step your hand down, G, B, D. And then for the D chord, we're gonna move up here to a D, F sharp and A go right back to that A chord. So these are all root position chords that the left hand's gonna play. And we're in four, four times, so each of these measures gets four counts. Uh, the first measure is just split in half. A, two, G, four. And then uh, in this measure, those dashes represent the third and fourth beat where you stay on A. So it's actually just one count of D and then quickly back to A. So all together, that's gonna be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now the right hand can play that melody. Here are the notes for the melody and we've got the left hand chords underneath it there. We're gonna need to be thinking in eighth notes here, dividing the beat in half, thinking one and two and three and four and. So the right hand notes are gonna be moving twice as fast as the regular counts. And we've got E, F sharp, A, F sharp, B. Now stepping down to A, F sharp. We've got a D here. I'm gonna just pop my thumb over to hit the D and then F sharp, E. So it all kinds of fits under the fingers. You just have to move your thumb down for the D. E, F sharp, A, F sharp, B, A, F sharp, D, F sharp, E. So notice the rhythm slows down a little bit there for the F sharp, E, those are just quarter notes right on the counts. One and two and three and four and one and two, three, four. And we can add that left hand back in. Just notice which right hand note lines up with the left hand chord. Just a quick note, pianos start to sound a little bit muddy doing the full triads down this low. Um, it depends on your piano. So if it feels too muddy to you, you could totally just do the outside notes, the fifths, or even just the single bass notes. Sounds pretty good. For the second half of this intro, we're gonna take over the A chord with the right hand and switch to bass notes in the left. This is where the harp arpeggio happens, which I'll show you later. But we've got A, two, three, and four, and A, two, three, and four, and. So I'm doing A with my fifth finger here, and then and four, and this little bass thing. It, on the recording, it's more like that sounds better when you're sliding on the frets of a bass. So I'm just gonna do E, 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 A, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, there's a light. So that would be going into the first verse. So let's tackle the verse. Here are the chords for that. And once again, I'm just gonna be doing right hand chords and left hand single bass notes. So we've got a measure of A, and right off the bat, let's hit quarter notes. So just playing on every count. One, two, three, four now it's stepping up to b minor b d and f sharp and i'm just stepping up my fourth finger on the b here one two three four then we have a d and unlike what the left hand did before we're going to do an inversion on the d major chord so i'm going to come up to my second finger here for the bass note and then a d and f sharp just notice how smooth that transition is for the right hand all that needs to happen is the thumb needs to move down to the a and then the thumb is where it needs to be to return to the a so we've got a two three four b minor two three four d two three four a two three four quick 
note, if you want to be really accurate to what the bass does on the recording, it actually goes down the octave for the B. And then up to the D. But that is makes it a lot trickier on the piano. You have to cover a lot more range, and I think it sounds great to just do it like this. Okay, coming into the second line, we've got a G. Once again, we're gonna do an inversion on it instead of what we did in the intro. So it's gonna be B, D, and G, and I'm just gonna pop my hand down a little bit to get that G bass note there, and then reaching right up back to the A. So popping my pinky, because ultimately we wanna be in this five finger position to come up to this E. So this is gonna be that same inversion shape we did for the D. It's B, E, and G sharp, and then stepping down to a D7. So very similar to the D major we did before, but instead of that D with the third finger, I'm gonna hit the C with my second finger. There's a light, a certain kind of light that never shone. That is the first half of the first verse, and then that whole thing just repeats again with different lyrics. Now, before we go to the chorus, I wanna just hit on a little bit more rhythm and energy from the left hand to mimic what the bass is doing on the recording. So in addition to hitting on count one, I'm also gonna hit left hand on count three, the and after three, and the and after four. One and two and three and four, and one and two and three, and four and and of course the right hand is hitting on all the counts one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and so just take your time getting that you can just loop it on the a but then it's going to sound like there's a light you up too much you can just keep the left hand simple or do whatever left hand rhythm comes naturally to you as long as it sounds good to your ear all right so up next we have the chorus it's gonna sound like this you don't know what it's like baby you don't know what it's like to love somebody to love somebody the way i love you here are the chords for that. So nothing new for these right hand chords. We've got the A, the E, and the D. Those are the only chords in the chorus, the same way we're doing them in the verse. Now for the left hand, I'm gonna play octaves. Uh, if you can't make the stretch, you could go down the octave and keep doing single bass notes. But the overall feel I'm gonna do here is, of course, I'm gonna keep pulsing those quarter notes in the right, and I'm gonna add some eighth notes, but only on the top note. One and two and three and and so kind of just rocking back and forth between the chord and my thumb. Maybe you could also do one and two and three and four and you can do more with the octaves. You can kind of keep it loose as long as that eighth note pulse back and forth is the overall feel. So you don't know what it's like. So on the last measure of A in the first line there, we're gonna hit on beat three and then cut off. One and two and three, four. So nothing happening on count four there. And then we go to, to love somebody. So I am now going to do single bass notes. You can use whatever fingers you like. I like kind of balancing it on my third finger there and then fourth finger. But we've got a new rhythm here. We're gonna play on count one, the and after two and three. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and same thing on the A here. To love somebody, two and three and to love somebody the 
way I love you. And of course, I stopped doing the right hand quarter notes once we got to that part, just holding them. After that chorus, we have a little instrumental interlude. It is literally the same thing as the intro. So after love somebody, the way I love you, two and three, four, you can just If you want the energy to be a little greater in this section than it was for the intro, you could do quarter notes in the left. Okay, we've covered pretty much everything after that interlude. We've got another verse, same thing as the first verse, just different lyrics. Then we've got another chorus. Here's the chorus for that. It looks the same except for there's a little E at the end and it's a double or triple chorus, it kind of goes around a few times and that E is how it turns around. So starting from the second line in that chorus, to love somebody, to love somebody, the way I love you. Oh, you don't know. So that just repeats the chorus again. And I'm just gonna end the song after that second time through the chorus, just on the way I love you, probably just holding out the A there. It does go around again. It goes back to the E with a no, 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 uh, for another time. But as soon as you're in that third time, the recording starts fading out. Hard to do on piano. So I'm just gonna call it after two times through. Um, just note uh, on that E, it's really climactic. I'm probably just gonna pulse rather than do that. I might just hit all the eighth notes just to really build it up. And then the song is over. But before I wrap up this video with my full playthrough, I wanted to touch on that harp arpeggio that happens in the intro and the interlude parts. So you could do this with the right hand and just do the single bass notes in the left hand, or you could even just hold down the chord. But here are the notes for the ascending part of the arpeggio. We're gonna start on the C sharp, E, A, C sharp. So just notice that all the notes in this arpeggios are gonna be A's, C sharps, or E's, the notes from the A major chord. But we're starting on the C sharp with our second finger, cross, thumb under, and then I like second finger, and then third finger for the C sharp. Now for the descending part, it's gonna start more than an octave higher on this high E. So this is the hardest part. You have this big leap up to the E, and then C sharp, A, E. So you can use five, three, two, one, and then cross to maybe second finger for that last C sharp. So all together, C sharp, E, A, C sharp, and then E, C sharp, A, E, C sharp. Those are on 16th notes, dividing the beat in four, thinking one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, etc. One E and a, two E and a, three and then it holds that note. And of course, with arpeggios like this, at first, you really have to take your time to get to know the fingers, how they land on the notes, the cross under, the cross over. But once you put in enough practice with that to really nail it, you kind of let that go and try not to overthink it and just think in broad strokes up and down and kind of trust yourself to hit it. So just really flowing with it. Okay, thank you for watching. I'm now gonna do a full playthrough so you can see how all those parts fit together and I'm gonna throw in a third hand to do that harp arpeggio. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Also, if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel and click the bell so you know when I put out more videos like this one. All right, here's my version of To Love Somebody.
Somebody to love somebody.